You talked about not doing albums so much anymore and doing something called six packs, where you just do like mm-hmm. a, a group of six songs. You come out that, that would come out, and one of the artists that you were working on songs with, I don't know if it actually came out or not, was Omari Hardwick, who is oh, Ghost Omari, yeah, from Omari. Power, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and I had no idea that he was a rapper, but apparently he raps. And he a beast. A Mari, beast. Mari, yeah, Mari is a beast. Like, you got, like, ask him to sing you some stuff, man. Mari, man, he, and not only is he a rapper, he has to be one of the best beat pickers that I've ever seen. Like, when he get a bundle of beats, and he, the ones that he pick out, you listen to them beats, and you be like, yo. Because that's a talent, being able to pick the right beat. Dude got it, man. Dude got it. Uh, okay. Has he released anything or is this just stuff that you guys have heard together? This is stuff I heard from him. What he working on? I actually talked to him the other day, you know, because uh-huh. he, uh, he doing something on my album. I'm going to do something on his. So you got an album coming out? Me? Him. Oh, him. Yeah, yeah. He got an album coming out. Okay. Does he have a rap name or is he coming out as Omari Hardwick or, or Ghost? Or- you know, I never <laughs> asked him. I never, that's it. You should get him on the show and interview him. I got you. We'll get his contact from you. Yeah. We'll set it up. Uh, okay. Well, one of your biggest songs, S-E-X, mm-hmm. uh, with uh, Lala Brown. Right. It's got 10 million streams on Spotify. Is that your, your second biggest song? I don't know. They all big to me. Hell. Yeah. Well, one of your, one of your biggest songs. Mm-hmm. And what I didn't realize is what had actually happened to Lala Brown. So I guess, you know, uh, Lala Brown, AKA Yolanda Brown, I guess you had met her cause she had, uh, I guess worked at a strip club or something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So was that like, you know, when she jumped on that song, was that like her first like vocal appearance on an album? Yeah, she wasn't even supposed to be on that song. Actually, I had a I had another girl on that song, and the girl had already finished the song, but her boyfriend was her manager. And I don't know why he got into his mind that maybe me and her had something going on, which, you know, I, I would never do that. Um, and he stopped letting me talk to her, you know, straight calling her on the phone. He was like, yo, you got to run it through me. I'm broke. First of all, I ain't asked you to sing on the song, right? So I'm not running nothing. You can, you a manager, you can talk to my manager. And I mean, so basically when he stopped that, I just was like, I don't want to deal with this. I'm doing, you know, a service to you. And so I started looking for somebody else. And Lala just happened to, I just happened to meet her in the club, you know? Okay. So she came to the studio, laid down the same part, basically? Yeah. Yeah. She laid the same part down in, in her own unique way, which added to the song, I think. Great song. Uh, yeah. de- definitely one of my favorite all time songs by you. Uh, I got Thanks. to listen to it on the on the way here, and, and just the way it sort of breaks down like a young girl, kind of figuring out her sexuality and having men try to take advantage of her and everything else like that. It's almost like every father's worst nightmare in a song, kind of. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And that's something that that's forever. People, you go. That's going to be relevant forever. Absolutely, absolutely. So, she went on tour with you at one point. Yes. She went on tour with him. Okay. And then she left the tour. Was it under good circumstances or not so good? Come on, man. You know the answer to that. Why are you trying to... Why okay. Trying? So, so a situation happened <laughs> where she got kicked off the tour. All right? Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah, because, you know, I'm going to just keep it all the way. Because like, I don't know, know how to be. I don't want to be lying. They didn't have to backtrack on lying. Lala was a lot to deal with. And I think most talented people are. They got so much energy, man. Um, very well liked per like it was. I, I can't even tell because me personally, I didn't think Lala was that fine to me. But I'm talking about every single dude. She, it was some about her. They used to lose their mind about this girl, man. Like, you know, she was she was just special, like you know. And um, that kind of got to her head. Like I remember one time we was on tour, and we was in Lala hometown. So Lala was already there and I come to the dressing room and there's a security dude at my dressing room. He don't even want to let me in the dressing room. <laughs> he opened the door. He said, wait a minute. He opened the door and asked Lala, is it all right for him to come in? Lala was like, yeah, he can come. I say, no, this shit got to stop. bro." <laughs> like, 
But uh, yeah, so we had some words on tour and we had had words before. And my intentions was to just send Lala home for a little while and hopefully that she would, because I don't want no beef on the tour between her and my band and none of that. I sent her home. Um, and then we had an argument when she got home. So I was just like, yeah, it's just best for you to stay there. You know? Okay. Well, she left the tour and mm -hmm. her and her producer, a guy named Kool-Aid, yeah. were shot shot and killed. I mean, and again, in retrospect, if I didn't knew that was going to happen, then um, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I would have figured it out, you know? Of course. I yeah. mean, who would have known something that tragic was going to occur? One of the, one of the low points of my career. Yeah. You know? Okay. So when you heard the news, how bad did it affect you? I mean, look, you know, we used to all sleep on the same tour bus, you know, uh, eat together, everything. It was almost like, you know, she was a sister, you know what I'm saying? So to, to see something like, and then to know that, that you was the one that sent her home. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, not a good time, you dig? Right, because from what I understand, 15 years later, it's still an unsolved case. Which is weird, but, um, but I guess it happens, you know?